Ngāti Tūrangi Tukua, a hapū of Ngāti Tūwharetoa, holds status as mana whenua of their rohi, which includes the Tūrangi Township and its surrounds. They have a special relationship with their whenua, taiao and community, which is reflected through their role as kaitiaki and major landowners within the Ngāti Tūrangi Tukua rohi. The hapu also holds the status as a post-settlement governance entity as a result of its deed of settlement with the Crown in 1998. In the early 1960s, the Crown forcibly confiscated Ngāti Turangitukua land for the development of the Tongariro Power Scheme. This was not agreed to by Ngāti Turangitukua and was upheld in 1998 to be a breach of Te Tiriti o Waitangi. Whānau affected by these traumatic events still live today to share their raw memories of the bulldozers that destroyed their homes, their ancestral waters and wahi tapu. The Ngāti Turangi Tukua Settlement Act aimed to settle these grievances. However, compensation for their social, cultural, economic and environmental losses was minuscule compared to what was taken and most of what had been confiscated by the Crown was sold privately and so was not to be returned to the hapu. The settlement provided some public lands to be returned, however other returned lands were only included in the settlement on the basis that it be treated as reserves. Much of the town's three waters infrastructure is located on these reserves, including the municipal drinking water supply. This system was constructed on Wahi Tapu and draws water from Ngāti Turangi Tukua Tupuna Maunga, Pihanga. In order to connect the water supply to the township, many wahi tapu were destroyed with the physical remains of those lost taonga, lost forever, to be retained in the oral history of Ngāti Turangi Tukua. This, coupled with the Crown's decision to discharge the town's stormwater and treated wastewater into Hirangi Stream and Lake Taupo, massively degraded the environmental health and cultural well-being of these significant water bodies. Up until now, decisions concerning many of these special taonga owned by Turangi Tukua in legal title remained with the Taupo District Council as an outcome of the settlement. This often left Ngāti Turangi Tukua feeling like bystanders and on the outskirts of decisions concerning their whenua and wahi tapu. In recognition of this intergenerational trauma, Council welcomed the invitation from Ngāti Turangi Tukua to develop a mana whakahono arohe a tool provided for under the Resource Management Act designed to enable tangata whenua and local authorities to discuss and record how they will work together on resource management matters. Following three years of vigorous negotiations, innovation and courageous leadership, Council and Ngāti Turangi Tukua have taken this mana whakahono to a whole new level of co-governance. In addition to its broad scope, this mana whakahono has created a pathway that will see the local community board replaced with a new co-governance committee made up of equal membership from Council and Ngāti Turangi Tukua. The committee will be tasked with making joint decisions on a wide range of local government, resource management and Reserve Act matters, which supports Council's key strategic priority of integrating co-governance across everything that it does. This revolutionary co-governance framework will be the first of its kind in Aotearoa and a game-changer in how Council works with Tangata Whenua. Taupo District Council looks forward to sharing their positive experiences with other councils across the country and actively promoting the value Tangata Whenua bring to Council's decision-making processes. Ko tahi noa te mea e whakakotahi ai te tangata. Tērā ko te mauri o te aroha.